Welcome, Vernon parents. This is Mr. Shea, introducing to you to the new School G parent portal that we are finally rolling out. We're going to share a little bit of information in this video. I'm going to try to keep it brief on just an overview of how Vernon teachers plan on using School G, uh, what students can see, and then what parents will be able to see. So this is just a, a brief overview. One question you may be asking is, Mr. Shea, we already have the Genesis Parent Portal. What is this Parent Portal and what are we getting out of it? So that is true. We have the Genesis Parent Portal that has most of what you're going to want to see. This has a lot of demographic information, grade books, contact information that you can change, back to school forms, all of that super fun stuff. Uh, and so most of what you're still going to want to get on a on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis as a parent really is going to come out of Genesis uh, as far as that is concerned. The difference between Genesis and Schoology is that we use Schoology for our learning management system, an LMS. That is technically a software used for the delivery of instruction, uh, aka some, it's somewhere for us to put the students' digital stuff. So what you're normally going to see in Schoology is going to be more of, all right, here's the students' day-to-day -day homework and, and assignments. Here's some materials and resources that go along with that, and potentially here are some uh, course and or group announcements that affect the student on a day-to-day -day basis. So most of what you're going to see in Schoology is normally you know, the student's homework and what they're going to be doing. And although you can, to a certain degree, see that in Genesis, it's not going to have this kind of detail uh, and these materials that are going to be available that many of our teachers are using on a day-to-day -day basis with the kids, especially for those grades, grades 3 through 12, that have, that have Chromebooks and are very frequently using Chromebooks to receive digital learning. To log in, on our website under the Parents section, you may have already noticed a new link, Schoology Parent Portal. So you can always click that to get started. Let's talk about logging in. So right away, we took basically anyone that we had an email for and created them an account. So I'm going to send out a link later today. Today is Monday in September. Uh, I'm going to send out a link later that will let parents uh, basically reset a password with their email address. And so we've, I think we loaded in three or 4,000 email addresses around there. And so you'll be able to choose your own password. From any computer, you would simply just go to app.schoology.com. Uh, and if you don't know your password, if, if uh, you don't see my link that I'm going to try to send out later today, basically you can just click this forgot your password link, put in your email, and then check your email for a, a password verification that you'll go in to get to choose your own password. And it really is that easy. And we believe that we have associated all of the students with their parents correctly and you should be seeing everything that you need to see. If that's not the case, you'll need to reach out to us. They also have a Schoology app that you can find on both the iTunes and Android stores. So you can download the Schoology app. So if you're on the go, you can see information. I know many of our students use that because if they don't want to carry around a Chromebook or don't have their Chromebook uh, or are at home or on vacation, they still have access to all of their digital stuff. For parents, a word of caution if you're using the Schoology app, I've, uh, we have piloted with a couple parents. You want to make sure when you log into the Schoology app on your mobile device, tablet, cell phone, whichever, that you are logging in through www.schoology.com. The domain is meant for our students. Our students use our domain, vtsd.com, and their vtsd.com accounts. You as a parent do not have that. You'll be using your own personal email that we have on record. Uh, to log in. So you're going to make sure to want to uh, select this bottom option, log in through schoology.com. So when you log in as a parent, you're going to see some screens that are similar to the students, and you're going to have kind of this dashboard to see somewhat everything all at once. So you're going to see in the very center here is the recent announcements. Now some of these announcements come are coming from the school, uh, so you'll see here is one from Mrs. Gola from, from Glen Meadow, uh, just doing kind of today's announcements for what's going on at Glen Meadow, and so parents can see that as well. You can see course announcements. So you can see here that uh, some course announcements have come through for this student. So parents can see that as well. And then also group announcements. So if a student is a part of any groups or activities and that advisor or teacher is using the groups uh, as, as announcements, all of that would come through here. If you're familiar with any other social media, Facebook, Twitter, anything else, it, that's going to look and feel somewhat similar. And so parents can see a lot of the same things the students see on a day-to-day -day basis under this recent activity area. 
really a lot of the bread and butter of this for a parent, uh, if, especially if you're coming in to uh, just check and see what homework the student might have, is on this right side where it says upcoming. So anywhere a teacher puts in uh, that a student has homework, whether it's read chapter two, an upcoming project that's due, um, some assignment that may be assigned and needs something submitted, a lot of that will come through on this upcoming side here. Some of this we'll also be able to see in the calendar, which I'll show you in just a moment. But so really this upcoming spot for both the students and parents is a really helpful area. When we talk about how teachers are using Schoology, that is kind of a different conversation by grade and even by curriculum that they're teaching. So some teachers, this may be all they do is that they're just posting the homework in here to make it easier for the student, make it easier for the parents, especially, you know, maybe at the lower grades because we're not, the kids aren't doing a lot of digital work at the lower grades. We're, we're you know, limiting their screen time to a degree. But once we get to the higher grades, really a lot of information is, is gonna be more and more stored in here. So you'll see some teachers that use Schoology in different ways, but one of the most common ways is going to be this calendar and this upcoming section here. You'll see an area here for grades and also a grade report button up here at the top. Uh, this part is is only used a little bit by teachers, you know, especially if they if they create an assignment, uh, I'm sorry, an assessment, and they're grading the assessment right through here and possibly with a rubric, you may be able to see that here. For the most part, you're really going to still see grades in Genesis, so I wouldn't depend on Schoology to see a lot of grades here, but if you see it, you can click it and kind of follow along and see how your student has done. Now again, we were talking about a calendar, and so again it goes hand in hand with the upcoming the calendar is based on a lot of that but if you like the calendar view and some of our students do as well you can click this little calendar in the upper right near near your drop down and so you'll be able to see in a quick glance some of the events coming up by day on the calendar now students can add things to their own calendar as well so when we start talking to, to students you know how they used to have a paper agenda book and storing things there well, now they can store things here, and again, they can get that on their mobile device. They can actually sync this calendar with their Google Calendar. So we're trying to really teach kids day-to-day -day skills, such as keeping a digital calendar. Uh, so some of this is automated by the teachers, and some of this may be automated because the student went in here and put their own event in here. But this also is just kind of a nice one glance at what are some of the upcoming events for the student. Just a few more brief things. Uh, you'll notice for some of these courses, if I click courses, this should show, and again, this is different based upon the schools and, and what's happening. So again, at Lounsbury, at Glen Meadow, at the high school, you're probably gonna see all courses. At Rolling Hills, Cedar Mountain, you may only just see just a homeroom or homeroom and maybe specials. So it might be limited based, you know, so that way we don't, we're not giving too much information. We're not overwhelming students at a, at a younger age. So in this case, we're looking at a Lansbury student, so we can see a lot of information. So when we drill down, we can see a lot from this particular course. We could see updates and announcements, which you also would have seen on that uh, on the first screen. But now here, you can see some of the resources. So if the student says, oh, I left my worksheet in my locker at school, I can't do this homework assignment, for, for many teachers, they've placed the associated homework assignment, whether it's a, a worksheet, a website where they're supposed to do research, you know, whatever it may be, many teachers have linked that here, so there's really not too much excuse these days. In fact, many teachers, when they hear a student says, oh, I was absent yesterday, uh, what did I miss? Teachers will just say, well, it's all in Schoology, go grab it there. So uh, some teachers will break this down by unit. So it may have unit one, unit two, unit three. Some teachers will have it where, oh, here's the current information that we've been working on, you know, this week or this month. Um, so a lot of times if you drill down to that course, you'll be able, be able to find more information here that the students can have access to. Similar to courses is groups. So if student can join different groups, and so many advisors will keep the groups organized, by creating these groups. We may even in the future make parent groups where parents can interact back back and forth uh, all on this one-stop shop of Schoology. And so the students can see and share different announcements. They could share pictures. Uh, you know, they can see a calendar of upcoming events for that group. So this is similar to courses, but you're not gonna see test assignments and other things in here. You're really gonna just maybe see materials and a calendar. So groups is meant more for activities. Last but not least, one of the great things about Schoology is some of the parent settings. 
So on the upper right, if I were to click this drop down near the child's name, if I had multiple students, you'd be able to see them here and just switch between them. Uh, for some of those parents that tried to help use Schoology in the past with their student, they had to log in as a student at, and log in two, three different times. Now, as a parent, you can just log in and select students over on the right side and switch between those profiles. Now also, there's a settings section where a parent has a little more control of how you're receiving notifications. A, you can change some of your profile settings here. That's really not necessary. If you're changing contact information, you probably want to do that in Genesis, as that's where we're, we as a staff are really looking. But in this notifications area, you can really change some settings. So notice by default, I, Mr. Shea, have set up a summary to go out to all parents Fridays at 3. In fact, you might have received the first summary last week, and you're probably like, what is this Schoology summary? Well, this is it. And so you can alter this. If you really want it daily, you can have at it. Uh, you can say if you want email uh, notifications, you can add that. There are some places where you could even say, hey, I would like to get text notifications. Uh, for the most part, I'm not sure really parents want that many notifications from Schoology, uh, but it sure is convenient. Even if you're not going to log in here frequently, if you're going to log into Genesis more and not Schoology, to get this summary once a week to kind of see what's been going on with the homework for your students. In case you have more questions, if you go to vtsd.com tech, we've started setting up a resource site for parents. And we've got some resources for not only Genesis, but also Schoology and other resources, frequently asked questions, some policies, including the Chromebook policy. Uh, so if you want, want to look up more information on how we're using Schoology, we have a link to a parent's guide for Schoology. There's other training videos. This is one from Schoology itself, so it might be a little more detailed. If you want to learn more, you can always go to vtsd.com tech and find out more. Thanks for watching, and if you have trouble, uh, you can try to reach out to the schools and, and get their help. Also, you can reach out to me, mshay, at vtsd.com if you're having some trouble as well. Thank you.